Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we will cover how to install Stable Diffusion on a PC running AMD GPUs. Stable Diffusion works out of the box on NVIDIA graphics cards. Luckily AMD users can also now play with Stable Diffusion and create AI art on your local PC. Thanks to the crew at the automatic 1111 GitHub repo for making a smooth Stable Diffusion installer that's really easy to get working quickly on your AMD kit. Let's dive straight into it. First, download the required software. You need to download and install Python 3.10.6. You can go ahead, download and install it directly off the GitHub repo. When the Python installer launches, make sure you select this checkbox to add Python to the path, and then you can continue and click Install Now. Now that Python successfully installed, go to git4windows.org, download the program, and you can go ahead, install this, and accept all the defaults. Next, go ahead, open a command prompt, run that in admin mode, create a folder for stable diffusion on your drive. This is where we will clone the project into. Enter the folder you just created, open the GitHub repo again, select the following command, I'll leave this in the description, copy the command, open your command prompt, paste the command, execute this, and this will clone and install the repo onto your local PC. Before we install and configure Stable Diffusion, Let's head over to the Stable Diffusion Art website, link in the description. Let's stock up on some extra models that we can play with. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show how to add the Dream Shaper model to your install. Download the Dream Shaper model. Now while the model is downloading, open your command prompt again. Make sure you are in your working folder that you created and you'll see that Git has created another folder. Verify that you can see the following folder structure. Now you should see the following web ui-user.bat file. In your command prompt, execute that bat file. This command will configure everything needed for stable diffusion. It might take a while, execute this and let it run. After the bat file executed, make sure you see no error. And after the command executes, you'll note that it starts a web server on the local PC. You can access that on the localhost address on port 7860. Open up your browser, head over to the address supplied in the command prompt. And if everything works, you should be presented with the stable diffusion web interface. We've not loaded the Dream Shape uh, model yet. So when this starts up, you'll only see the model that it ships with. Now let's test and see if the system has enough resources to run stable diffusion with the default settings. You can see I've entered the prompt. I'm asking it for a picture of Homer Simpson eating a donut. And when you click the generate button, keep an eye on your command prompt. It will show you either your progress or any problems. Clearly you can see mine failed to generate an uh, image for me and here it's complaining about not having enough GPU video memory available. So let's quickly cover the steps you have to take to resolve this issue. Before we go ahead and fix this error, go to the command prompt and close the running stable diffusion on your PC. And now that we have stable diffusion stopped, we're going to do two things. We're going to configure it according to our available video memory and we're going to add the Dream Shaper model we downloaded. On the GitHub page for the project, expand the details section and if you have a 4 to 6 gig video card, you want to copy the following command. Should you have a 6 to 8 gig card, I'll show you a different command that you need to insert. Open Windows Explorer, navigate to your project folder where you cloud Stable Diffusion into, right click and edit the web ui-user.bat file. If you have a 6 to 8 gig graphics card, 
go ahead and insert the following into the command line arguments. Close and save the file with your updated config. And while we have the Explorer window open, let's add the model we downloaded into the Stable Diffusion build. Open your Downloads folder and copy the DreamShaper model that we downloaded earlier. Then navigate back to your Stable Diffusion project folder. Navigate into the Models folder and into the Stable Diffusion folder. Now simply paste the Dream Shaper model we downloaded here. We've now added the extra model to Stable Diffusion and we've also configured it for the amount of video RAM available. Execute the web UI-user.bat file and it should launch with the updated config. Head back to the Stable Diffusion web interface and the first thing you want to do is make sure that your new model has loaded correctly and you should see two models in the drop down menu now. I'm going to use the Dream Shaper model and I'm going to execute my prompt again and ask for an image of Homer Simpson eating a donut. And there you have it, Stable Diffusion working with an AMD card and a very nice image of Homer generated. Thank you for watching this video. If you found any value in the video, consider commenting, give us a thumbs up or consider subscribing.